Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how to ask questions on Stack Overflow. Again, this uh, video might look slightly silly to you if you are an experienced developer, but if you are someone who is starting out as a programmer, Stack Overflow is really a great place for you to get a lot of answers for the questions that you have. But the problem with Stack Overflow is, I would like to explain it with some memes you would actually see a lot of uh, Stack Overflow meme uh, whenever you go online and especially this is one complaint that Stack Overflow usually gets that you ask a question and then someone is going to downvote it and then mark it that it is duplicate or someone is going to say that it has been already answered and a lot of things. Uh, so you can see this this meme says that um, someone tells you to go read the manual pages. So th this is all sort of problem that usually people face when uh, they start out um, putting uh, questions on Stack Overflow. But the problem is um, we should always understand that uh, any community has a two-sided problem. The problem is not only with the community which answers the question, it is also the problem sometimes with the people who ask question. So um, rather than blaming someone, uh, it is always better for us to improve ourselves because we are at the end who we need answer. Um, no one else is going to be at loss um, if I'm not getting an answer, right? So it's always better for me to optimize the way I ask question so that someone is going to answer. So to start with, first, let us um, pick a sample uh, language. For example, in this case, if I want to ask a question about Python, the first important thing for me to do is I have to check how other questions are asked that have already answers. For example, let's take the latest one. So someone has posted a question, uh, post on PyImage search blog, and uh, th th this, this is a question. The question, I mean, you can understand when you look at this question, Stack Overflow is a place where you have to ask programming related question and it is usually advised that you try out something and then you explain what you have tried out and then you ask for help. You don't ask for questions like this and we are definitely sure that someone is going to download this and then uh, close this question. So now we just had a look at um, how not to ask a question. So let's let's also look at another question, uh, which is um, probably it has got two downwards. So again, we can have a look at this question. So someone has said that from model this thing, this is the error that I'm getting and there is no description at all in this entire thing. So no, so, someone is, it, it just says, how do I get rid of TensorFlow input error? So this is a question. So no one, no one gives, um, um, whatever it is right about uh, the error that you are getting because people want this to be like a knowledge base for someone who comes back in the future also so that is the thing so let, uh, now that we have seen how not to ask questions so let us do a small checklist of how to ask question so the first and foremost thing that you need to know before asking a question is how to create a minimal reproducible example it is either called minimal reproducible example or it is also known as minimum working example mwe or mre so what is it so minimal reproducible example is where you are asking a question with something that you have shared and that thing also enables others to answer your question so for example let's go to um, something that was asked five, some time back and then see um, a question that does already have some answer so let's pick something which has uh, someone has already marked as uh, answered okay so um, this this has so when you go here you can actually see that someone has said that this is the thing that i'm doing this is the output that it is give, giving and how do i do this thing and this is not exactly a minimum reproducible example but it at least gives someone an ability to check and there are a lot of other communities for example if you go to r so you would also see there is a page uh, that will share how to ask a question so you can actually go to the most active um, uh, section and then you can see how to ask so for example in this case someone has done this thing someone has done this thing and then how do i do this thing and we see answers of different sorts. So for example, the question was asked 26 minutes ago and someone has answered 14 minutes ago within, within a small time of frame of uh, 12 minutes. So the most important thing for you to understand is for the particular language or question that you're going to ask, how to create a minimum reproducible example, which should usually have uh, these, uh, these things. For example, first, it should be minimal, very small. Second, it should be reproducible. Someone has 
uh, someone should be able to reproduce what you are going to ask so for example if you're going to ask a question in pandas so let's go to pandas and then see um, if you have a pandas related question then you you should probably see see how it has been asked so you know that there is a data set they are using so maybe you have a data set in your organization that you cannot share it with someone so you pick some inbuilt data set and then do something and then try to say what is the error that you are getting and then you ask for the question and then someone is going to answer you so this is how you should ask a question with minimum reproducible example which is minimal and it also helps uh, someone run the code reproducible and it explains the problem what you have tried out so this is the first thing the second thing is uh, even after this if you have a question um, before even you post the question first thing you have to check is whether the question has been already answered because you don't want to bombard the community with um, the same question again and again for example uh, if you have to ask uh, can i do a wide data frame to a long data frame using pandas then search for pandas long to wide and see uh, you have question pandas long to wide pandas long to wide pandas long to wide pandas long to wide and pandas long to white so you've got so many questions for the same thing so you don't want to be that person who's going to again add the same thing on stack overflow maybe your problem is slightly different so it is always good to go see what what kind of answers people have already given try it out for your use case and if it is not available then you ask a question but the most important thing is it is very important for you to not ask the same question again and again because someone is definitely going to say this is the duplicate of this like this and they're going to close this question so it's very important to find out whether it is not part of um, some other question that has been already answered the other mean that we saw is that someone is going to ask you to check the manual it is also another good habit for example if you want to know simply how to pivot pandas data frame I mean, you should not first of all ask a question on Stack Overflow. It is better to ask first, check the manual, and then if you cannot do that, then go explain the same thing with minimum reproducible example, and then ask the question. So that way, your question becomes very specific, narrowish. It's not going to be like a theoretical question on this programming platform. So you have other platforms like um, if you have a data science question, you can go to cross validate it. There are other places where you can ask those questions, but given this particular platform is only for programming you don't um, tend to ask these kind of questions. So that is always good. So uh, the things that we saw, uh, you need to know how to do a minimum reproducible example. You need to check whether the question has been already answered. The other thing is you go to a place, um, you go to um, this, this uh, answer section and uh, see the questions that were asked before that were answered. So the questions that are similar to your problem and uh, the way it was asked and the way it was answered so if you do this a little bit of work um, then it is always better because you can now be very sure that someone is going to answer your question so this is the example that we saw let's look at another example so someone has said that this is my data frame how can i send this using email so even though there is no minimum reproducible example someone has actually said that okay this is what i want this is how my output i want and uh, this is what i have tried so this shows the community that okay uh, you have uh, you have made your best efforts even though this could be easily available on uh, some uh, documentation or something but this you have made your best efforts and you're sharing it with the community that this is exactly what you want this is what you have tried and this comes out so this you could have a different question you could you could be wanting a different formatting so when you look at this question so you know how to ask this kind of exact question that could get you an answer because ultimately our objective is to get answer not to do anything else so these are main three tips so first minimum reproducible example second one is uh, look for duplication and then the third one is look for a similar question that has been already answered uh, and then try to ask a question similar to that so these three tips will help you make your questions stay and then get answered so that you can get over your programming problems and also um, i do not deny that uh, stack overflow has some problem uh, with respect to uh, being uh, sometimes rude to your questions or uh, I'm not saying that these memes are um, all uh, false but the pro point I'm trying to make is you are the one who wants the answer um, there is no point in uh, blaming someone or making fun of someone if you need answer you have to definitely uh, put your effort in asking the right question so that your question could be answered 
i hope this uh, video this meta video was quite helpful and uh, if you have any question please uh, put put it in the comment section and uh, if you have any feedback also please let me know in the comment section and if you have not subscribed please uh, subscribe to this channel so that it helps me um, stay motivated and uh, thank you so much for listening to this um, video and i'll see you in the next one